Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the shop. I'm going to try something new today. Uh, I'm going to do some rust removal using uh, an electrolytic process. I've taken the um, Ram's horn um, exhaust manifolds off of the Corvette and I, did, I, I initially sandblasted them. I didn't really like uh, the, the results on one of the two and uh, also I didn't like being uh, in the same position for a long a long period of time. As I get older, <laughs> I, I, I'm looking for the automatic pilot as much as I can. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what I'm going to do today is, is take the uh, ram's horns and uh, start going through uh, rust removal using uh, electricity and uh, bi sodium bicarbonate. All right, so good old super washing soda, okay? Um, first time I've ever done this, um, watched a, a few YouTube videos. I'll uh, put links in my, um, in my video so you can see them as well. Um, but uh, I, think I, I think I got it. Um, and the only thing it cost me was a $4 box of soda wash. I had all the equipment otherwise that I needed in the shop. So I'm using uh, all of my existing um, uh, equipment. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing and if you do please subscribe and uh, help or, or like or leave me a message. Uh, I'll respond as soon as I can. Thanks. Uh, some points of safety with doing this process. Um, this is a chemical process, it's an electrochemical process and there are um, byproducts of this process and one of them is hydrogen gas. Um, do not do this process in an enclosed space. You do not want to uh, have that happen and, and have a spark. Um, if anybody knows anything about the Hindenburg, that's what would happen. So maybe not on that scale. But uh, safety first. Um, you also don't want to breathe that stuff in. So uh, well ventilated area, outdoors, whatever it takes, um, but uh, don't let hydrogen build up in your workspace. The second point is safety. Don't touch the metal. <laughs> when, when there's electricity running through it, don't touch it. Don't put your hands in the water, okay? There, it, um, just don't do it. <laughs> Especially if you have rings or things like that on, all right? So here are the ram's horns from the Corvette. Uh, I sandblasted both of them. Uh, the first one I did took a little while, um, probably about uh, half hour to get it to this state. Um, this one, uh, I was getting a little tired <laughs> and the, and the uh, glass beads were breaking down so they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, clean up as easily. And then I started looking at all the interior passages and sandblast is never going to get into that type of thing. So I uh, started looking at um, re removing rust with an electrolytic process. So I'm going to give that a shot. So how am I going to do that? Well, I've got myself a bucket, five gallon bucket. Um, I've got a, a sacrificial anode here, just a plate of a sheet metal. Um, I've got some super washing soda, which is a um, sodium bicarbonate. Um, so it's not baking soda, it's uh, washing soda. And I'm going to use that in solution. And I've got a manual, old manual battery charger that I can do it both at uh, 12 volts at 2 amps and six, 12 volts at 6 amps. I'm going to be using the 6 amp circuit here. But um, so uh, this is going to be my power source, and we'll get this set up. So here are the Ram's horns from the Corvette. Uh, I sandblasted both of them. Uh, the first one I did took a little while, um, probably about uh, half hour to get it to this state. Um, this one, uh, I was getting a little tired <laughs> and the, and the uh, glass beads were breaking down so they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, clean up as easily. And then I started looking at all the interior passages and sandblast is never going to get into that type of thing. so. I uh, started looking at um, re removing rust with an electrolytic process. So I'm going to give that a shot. So how am I going to do that? 
Well, I've got myself a bucket, five gallon bucket. Um, I've got a uh, sacrificial anode here, just a pl plate of uh, sheet metal. Um, I've got some super washing soda, which is a um, sodium bicarbonate. Um, so it's not baking soda, it's uh, washing soda. And I'm going to use that in solution. And I've got a manual, old manual battery charger that I can do it both at uh, 12 volts at 2 amps and six, 12 volts at 6 amps. I'm going to be using the 6 amp circuit here. But um, so uh, this is going to be my power source and we'll get this set up. You need about a tablespoon of uh, the washing soda per gallon. I've got a five-gallon five bucket here, so that's equivalent to about three uh, or one third of a cup. So that's what I'm pouring in here. All right, so here's how it is hooked up on the sacrificial anode, which is the plate steel. I'm going to be, uh, or I have uh, connected the uh, the, po the positive side of the battery charging system, and for the um, piece that's going to have the uh, rust removed from it, um, the 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 uh, negative side of the uh, the negative connection is attached. Now you got to be real careful. You don't want um, the one piece touching the other piece, so. You don't want the negative side touching the positive side. That would be bad. So be careful when you're setting it up that uh, that doesn't that doesn't occur. You also though want these to be as close as possible because there is a um, a loss in the uh, amount of um, electrical current um, through the water. So it it will um, degrade over time. So you'll have better rust removal. Um, nearer to the plate than you will have from uh, from further away. So, um, as you can see, I'm also only doing half of this at a time because that's how deep my bucket is. I'll flip I'll flip it over and, and do the other side, but I'm also going to flip uh, flip it this way. So 90 degrees this way and then 180 degrees that way. Sorry, 180 degrees around the axis and 180 degrees upside down. Um, just to get um, uh, an even uh, coverage from uh, the rust removal. Alright, so here is the setup as it's running. Um, again, this, this battery charger is a manual battery charger. It's not automatic, so it's not going to flip on or off uh, with current uh, changes. So you can't do this with anything other than a manual charger, so you've got to have that. Um, the other part of the setup is, again, the, um, the sacrificial anode. That's where all the rust is going to go. It's not going to be uh, depleting that metal, but it's going to be taking the rust from the uh, workpiece to um, the plate, to the sacrificial anode. Uh, again, um, all right, just to show you the difference between the, or the, the, Okay, to show you the impact of distance in the water um, from the plate to the piece. Again, this is on a six amp charge. So if I'm close to the plate, I'm at three and a half amps. And the closer I get, or further away I get from the plate, it's almost in half. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit uh, just to, to show you something. Uh, Near the, near the plate, you can see that there is, uh, right in the corner there, you can see a lot of bubbles happening. That, that is uh, part of the electrochemical process. If you're not seeing that, then you probably don't have a good electrical connection. Um, you may need to um, Try to take some of the rust or whatever you have on on your parts, or uh, you know, give give yourself a little bit of a, uh, a a clean surface. So either file it or sand it or whatever, um, or just make sure that uh, your connections are uh, are sparking when you put them on uh, to the to the part. Um, but again, if you don't, if you're not seeing that 
kind of movement after probably about uh, two or three minutes, and then you don't have a good connection. Okay, I stuck uh, this manifold in uh, in two parts because it's too long for my bucket. Um, but I put uh, the, the one half in yesterday. I left it in for about five, six hours. And it looked pretty good. Um, today I took the other half and uh, left it in for eight hours. I want to see if that had any uh, uh, better um, performance. You know, longer, the longer it's in, the more it'll take off, right? So uh, I'm going to pull this out. You can see I've got a lot of nice orange rust sitting on the top here. Um, this uh, sacrificial anode I used probably was a little bit more rusty and not clean. Um, so I'll probably next time I'm going to use something that's a little, a little bit uh, cleaner to start with. Um, see how that worked out. But all in all, I think this is going to work for me. Jeez, how about that? I've revalidated science. <laughs> so I'm just going to shut this off and then pull it out. Okay, I, I unplugged the charger so it's not running. So I won't shock myself. Let's just take a look at what the anode looks like. So it's uh, definitely gathered some rust, which is nice, which is supposed to, what it was supposed to do. And let's see what this looks like coming out here. So that's, I think that will, once I dry it off, I think that is what I was looking for. I'm going to dry it off and then show you the results. Just drying it off with the heat gun here. This is, this is the side that uh, I just did. I dunked it again a little bit just to wet it to get the white residue off on this side. But it uh, dries up pretty quickly. I think, I think I'm done. Let me uh, show you for comparison. So side by side. This is the one that took me a while <laughs> with sandblasting. That is pretty darn clean. Here's the one that I dunked and uh, did fully with electrolytical, electrolytic process. I think, uh, I think I prefer the electrolytic process. I can do other things while it's working. So um, both of these manifolds I believe are ready for their, uh, their painting. So I'm just gonna finish drying the one on the right hand side here and then I'm gonna paint them. I'm pretty excited. Also uh, before you paint before I'm painting, I'm going to make sure that uh, all these surfaces are free of all the old gasket material. Some of that stuff can bake, get baked down pretty easily. Um, I'm using a just a, a drum sander and some uh, chisels just to take off some of the old material that got stuck and it's you know raised up. You can feel it. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that, that all that that surface is clear, is clean and uh, looking like that. So I've got a, a nice surface to begin with. Using a sanding block and a flat file and razor blades and whatever else it needs to to get the old gasket material off. All right, here's a, here's an example where some of that metallic gasket um, from the old the old exhaust gaskets it got stuck to the flange here. If you were to rub your finger along here or your fingernail, you see that there is a there's a bit of a step here. You can actually see it from the dust that's stuck in there. So that that's one of the things that needs to be taken off. Otherwise, that you know is a potential uh, exhaust leak. So uh, I'll remove these with uh, a razor blade and um, maybe a chisel with just some gentle tapping. I don't want to gouge the, the soft cast iron surface, but just enough to get that off. 
and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, I think they're uh, ready to paint. They've been uh, washed down, degreased, got all of the sanding dust off from uh, taking the extra gasket material off of the flanges. They're all clean, they look good, um, they're flat. There's a little bit of discoloration here from where the gaskets used to be, but uh, it's, it's good. Um, so we're going to be using some high temp paint um, to coat these. I got to go get some brushes at the store, but uh, I think this is ready and I think it's going to look good once it's all done. I've got uh, both Rams heads here. They're ready to paint. I've got my, uh, my paint my, my chip brush. I'm going to just go right at it. I'll do one side, let them dry, flip them over, do the other side. I'm not going to force you to watch me to paint the whole thing. Okay, here they are, fully restored. Actually better than restored because <clears throat> they're painted. Um, that's not how they came from the factory, but that's okay. It'll make it look nice for a long time. Cross my fingers. <laughs> so there's, there's one of them and here's the other. The uh, paint took to it really nicely. There's no brush marks or anything like that, so it uh, it dried well. I am pleased with the outcome.